Hello friends, welcome to another video from the Indian Freelancer YouTube channel. My name is Dan. In this video today, we are going to talk about online teaching. I have created a lot of videos on uh, online tutoring in the previous month and I also got a lot of questions from your end. So I am going to take those questions uh, in a few of those videos because there are a lot of questions and I cannot take everything uh, in one video. So, I have already created a FAQ video sometime back and today is the second video and I have around uh, 10 or 11 questions that I have uh, shortlisted and I am going to make two videos one, one after another and uh, will answer those questions in these two videos. So watch this video till the end. If you are here for the first time and you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I create these kind of videos on online teaching, on other different ways of freelancing and earning money from home. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's start the video. Welcome back. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly get into the first question that I get a lot of times. Okay, a lot of people have asked me this question on different videos that I have published in the last one month. The question is, is Prefly real or fake? Now I can just tell uh, this, uh, I can answer this question in one line by saying Prefly is 100% genuine platform. However, there are a lot of tutors, a lot of, lot of uh, students who are actually fake on Prefly. There are a lot of students who do not want to uh, get lessons on Preply. They just want to get their work done or some assignment done. And there are other students who come as students, but they are actually looking to do some kind of some kind of uh, negative activity or, or to con the actual teachers that there are on Preply. Similarly, there are also some fake teachers who want to teach maybe but then their, it, uh, their main intention is not teaching. They want to do some kind of other activity which are not actually allowed on Preply. But then Preply in itself is not fraud. I have created an entire video telling my lifetime earnings on Preply. I have shown you how much I have earned. I have also shown you how to create a new account on Preply so you can see that everything on Preply is very genuine. I am working on Preply for almost 4 years now and uh, it has been a smooth journey as of now. So it is all real, nothing on Preply is fake. The second question that I got is, uh, I do not have a PayPal account, can I start teaching on Preply? To answer that, I will just tell you one thing. You need a PayPal account just to withdraw the money that you that you make on the platform, right? Other than that, you do not need a PayPal account. Now, while registering on Preply, you may want to put your uh, PayPal account, but then it's not a mandatory thing, okay? Because it takes a long time for you to create an account, make your profile video, make your description then apply for it and now since it is COVID time, it takes some time to get approval. So it takes some time and then you will wait for the student to come, you will reach out to students, you will get new students, you will get trial lessons. Then if somebody books a, a package with you and takes those lessons and then you get paid, it takes a long time. It's almost like at least two, two to four weeks it will take for you to get uh, the first money from, from Preply. So that is enough time for you to actually apply for PayPal and get, a, get an account with them. If not PayPal, you can also use Skrill, you can also use uh, Payoneer. Preply also has TransferWise, but right now TransferWise is not there in uh, India. So you cannot use that in India. But if you are from somewhere where TransferWise is available, you can even use TransferWise. So you can create any of these accounts and uh, withdraw your money. But that will take some time to get uh, paid. So by that time, you should not wait for it. You should actually create your account, apply uh, for your uh, PayPal account and then simultaneously, you should also try to get your PayPal account ready. Okay. I hope you 
got the answer. The third question is very interesting. Somebody specifically asked me whether he can teach civil engineering on Preply. In the previous FAQ video also, I answered a similar question, I guess, where someone asked uh, whether he can teach biology or not. It's the same logic, okay? Now, you can only teach if there are enough students on the platform. So what you need to do is go there on Preply and find out if there is enough demand for civil engineering. Simple, if there is demand, if there are people who are looking for uh, civil engineering uh, tutors, obviously you can teach them on Preply. However, this uh, particular platform is actually dedicated or, or uh, not so dedicated, but then it is more into language lessons. If you check my previous videos where I have shown you the platform, I have shown you how to create a new account on Preply. There I have mentioned that or, or I have also shown you that the majority of the tutors that are listed there, they teach one of those languages. They do not teach many, many different subjects there. Okay, Language is the primary thing. Apart from that, you will see people teaching uh, mathematics, science and those things also. But then language is still the primary thing for which students come to Preply. Okay, I hope that answered your question. The fourth question today is how long does it take for Preply to approve a uh, new profile, a new profile, okay? Now, it normally takes around a week, maybe less than a week to get an approval. They will check your, uh, check your application, they will go through everything and they will either reject it or they will accept it or they will ask you to change a few things so that they can accept it in the second run. Now, that is in normal conditions. But right now, since uh, it, it is a pandemic time and there are less people working in their offices also, so it may take a little more time. Some of those people who have asked this question, they said it's been a week, it's been almost two weeks, but I did not hear anything from Preply. So what should I do? Please wait. If it is going beyond two weeks or three weeks, you can actually send them an email and uh, ask them what has happened to your application. But then the support is also not very reactive right now. They, um, they are working sparingly and they will answer your question after a few days. Maybe not right away, but after a few days you will get an answer. So normally it takes a week or less than a week, but then now at this time it is taking a little more. So wait for a couple of weeks and if you do not get uh, anything from them, again you can contact their support. The fifth question is very specific. Somebody wanted to know how much time it takes to withdraw money for the first time on Preply. Now, there are a few things that you need to understand here. Uh, the first time when you withdraw money, you need to have your accounts connected. Okay, you, if you are uh, having a Pioneer account, it has to be connected from the support. If you are using your PayPal or, um, or TransferWise or uh, Skrill account, then you can just put your email ID and the money will be sent to your, uh, to your account. Now, initially, when you are doing it for the first time, always, wherever you are, wherever, whichever platform you are working, it may take a little more time than the normal um, withdrawals, okay? Because of the first time, because they need to check things, they need to ensure that the money that they are sending is reaching to the correct destination and not. So that may take some time. So please wait. Again, since it is pandemic time, it is taking a little longer than usual. If you are waiting for a week or so and you are still not getting your money, please contact their support and they will definitely answer you back. Okay. So those are the questions that I wanted to take in this particular uh, episode of uh, FAQs on online teaching. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. In the next video, I'll take five more questions which are very commonly asked and uh, I'll answer them one by one. Now, before I end this video, I just wanted to uh, mention one very important thing which I thought uh, to, to, to actually address in a previous video, but then it's okay. The question is, do you need to master English to be a tutor on Preply? Now, to some of you, this question may 
sound very very naive very silly but then for a lot of people it is a very important question you need to understand that not everyone is very good in english however they may be very good in the native language or their own language which they intend to teach on preply now for a tutor for a teacher who's teaching a specific language if he is good in that particular language it is enough however on preply the the situation is little different the circumstances are little different than a normal tuition center okay because here you are most probably interacting with international students if you are from russia and if you are teaching russian you will be teaching russian to people who do not know russian right so there has to be some language which is common which you also know the student also knows the most common language in the world right now is english and most of the students that you are going to teach on preply will interact with you in english so if you do not know english very well if you are not habituated in talking in english then it may be very difficult for you to actually uh, teach someone any language that you want to teach on preply or anything for that man right so you need to know english you need to know at least that much english so that you can explain the concepts you can explain the nuances of your language that you are going to teach on preply okay so please learn english please excel better your english and uh, then you can probably do better on preply as well okay so i hope that uh, concept is also clear and uh, with that i'll end this video if you have any questions if you want to know more about online teaching please watch my other videos and if you still have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer those questions as well thanks a lot for watching this video till the end i'll see you in the next one till then take care this is jan signing off from the indian philosopher youtube channel take care bye bye